Hello everyone, so this is the second video in the series of virtual agent features and in this video I'm going to concentrate on starting a conversation from the ticket itself. So there are two ways in which we can start a conversation, Teams conversation from the ticket itself. First way is we start a one-to-one -one conversation directly with the user. It can be any user, it can be the caller or some other person or we can start a group conversation from the ticket. Group conversation comes into picture when there are multiple people involved in that ticket. There is a dependency of something of on someone. So let me open one of the ticket and then I'll show you how we can start those. So there is a button called Start Microsoft Teams Chat. If I click on it, I can add users to the selected slush bucket and then this start chat button will be active and if I click on it a conversation with this user will start in the Microsoft Teams chat window will open and we can discuss whatever we want to discuss over there so you can simply type the message whatever I want to type over here and coming to the group conversation part if I click on this button again let me add one more user to the conversation so first add the caller second user I search over here add to selected so when I click on add to selected there is this chat title visible on this pop-up so this is the recommended approach that we did not remove this incident number and this is the short description from the ticket this if we want to we can keep it as it is or we can customize it according to ourselves whether user just wants to keep the incident number or user just wants to keep the short description so this is up to us uh, if I click on start chat over here and if I click on open Microsoft Teams a group conversation will be started in the Microsoft Teams with the chat title as the one which I just shown in that pop-up incident number and then the short description of the ticket and to confirm whether all the users are added to the conversation or not I click over here so see all those users I am the one who started the conversation I added the caller and then I added one more person and then a conversation can be started with all of them over here now let me go back to my ticket so this was all about the start microsoft teams chat button uh, but this is not it my uh, service now has provided one more feature where a teams icon will be visible next to the caller specific field and the way we can activate that is by running a fix, uh, this fix script so this fix script is uh, not provided by service now as part of a particular plugin but when we download the app from the uh, service now store there an XML file is attached which we need to import into our service now instance and then we can run this fix script so that the teams icon is visible next to the caller specific field and here the configuration is mentioned that this will add this icon on which which fields and on which table incident request request item change request so let me click on the run fix script for now and click on proceed it won't take much time because this is a short script I will go back to my incident ticket again to check whether the icon was added or not so you can see that the teams chat icon is available now next to the caller specific field on incident form if I click on it I can still have a conversation with the caller the chat window will open in Microsoft Teams with that particular caller itself. So this is how it works and how this is how we can 
start a conversation with a user from the ticket itself. Thank you for watching.